Welcome to the Immortal Project. We here at the Immortal Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, guidance, and advice. I want to continue in the stories with respect to uh, Rav uh, Isser Zalman Meltzer and his, uh, his son, Rav Aaron Cutler, and his grandson, Schner Cutler. I mentioned in a previous video when um, Rav Meltzer was uh, saying uh, a very tearful goodbye to Rav Aaron Cutler and his son Schner Cutler going to America. And I mentioned that the young, uh, the grandson, uh, Rav Schner Cutler, was a chusin. He was uh, engaged. He was going off to America uh, to be married. And I, I'm saying that uh, this all started off with a story about how Rav Isser uh, Zalman Meltzer was able to see uh, from a, a vessel, from a pot, from a, a bowl, a cup, whether it had been toiled whether it had been uh, immersed in a mikvah prior to the first use, and with respect to his sensitivity. And that sensitivity passed down from generation to generation. And I'm going to tell you a story, a little-known story, about uh, Harav Schner Cutler. This was the uh, grandson of Harav Isser Zalman Meltzer. I mentioned that he was engaged. He actually knew this girl. He met this girl, and they were engaged before the Holocaust. And they both managed to survive. And um, when Schnur Zolm, Schnur uh, Kotler, as I said, inherited this, this incredible sensitivity for others. And um, it's demonstrated by this. As I said, he was engaged prior to World War II. They miraculously survived by the hand of God. A short time after they'd been uh, reunited, the young man, Schner Kotler, receives a letter. It's a letter from his intended. And she wrote that due to the war's hardships, due to her time in the concentration camps, the torture, the abuse, the starvation. Her physical condition was no longer fit, or as fit as when they had first become engaged before the Holocaust. She was therefore, in, in writing, she was therefore absolving him from the engagement. And she would have no complaint if he were to decide to break the engagement and seek another bride. So, what did Rav Schnur, the man who was the son of Ra Rav Aaron Kotler, the grandson um, to Rav uh, Isser Zalman Metzler, what did he do? He said to her, You lost your father during the war. You no longer have the material wealth you once had, you're destitute. Your health is no longer um, good. It's not what it used to be. You've undergone pain, suffering, and anguish. Do you think that I too, your husband, your husband-to-be, you think I will forsake you at a time like this? Never. It will never be. The rest is history. Roshner Cutler became uh, heir to one of the greatest uh, yeshivas in the world. And um, his Rebetzin, whom he married, raised a family that also includes some of the greatest Roshay yeshiva, the heads of yeshiva uh, in our generation. And this is how Torah is built. On the little things. People concentrate on miracles, on on great lofty words, it's the little things, the simple concerns on caring and sensitivity, how you treat people, how you talk to people. It's the small acts that define great people. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. I hope, I hope you're finding them inspiring. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.